I'm going to show you how to take your cover, your paper, and fold it into a box. So the first thing you're going to do is fold it in half lengthwise. Okay? Uh, and you're going to have the uh, color side facing down. You're going to then go ahead and fold it one more time. So what you're going to get is a cross going through. And then what you need to do is fold your corners in. And your square may not be perfect, so the one thing you want to make sure is that you just don't overlap, that you fold up to the crease but not over, so that um, these edges don't overlap, because if they do overlap, then you'll have a little bit of a problem when you're um, constructing your box. And even though it's not perfect, it will all work out in the end. All right, so once you have done that, you are then going to fold into the center and give it a nice crease okay uh, and then fold again into the center and again uh, give it a nice crease uh, I'm going to push down on all of these just to make sure that they are nice and crisp as folds okay okay so once you have it folded this side uh, I would say you really want to uh, burnish down your corners. You can use, like I'm using scissors, but you could use uh, your hand. But you want to just try and make those edges as crisp as possible because this paper is thick. The stronger your folds, the easier it is going to be to assemble your box. So now, uh, once I'm done, I'm going to open it back up so it is flat again with the four corners coming in. And I am now going to fold these corners up so that these now are folded in. Okay. And again, I'm going to really just make sure that I've established a really strong crease. Okay. Once you're done, you're going to be able to then open it up and you are going to pull two of the edges open so they start to look like this but two are going to remain inside and you're going to just gently pull this up so you're going to focus on this little square right here you're going to gently pull that up and it'll sort of fold in on itself and then you just push this down inside and you can see it's going to meet the negative space uh, that was left behind um, when it was open all right so you're going to do the same thing again focus on this little square that's outside here push it up so it's like a, that little edge there push it up hold it in place and then you're going to take that tab and then just push it in right like that so now you can see i have the top of my box and i can reinforce my edges a little bit after i get it done now what I will do is I'm going to go in with a little Mod Podge and tissue and I'm just going to clean up that edge so on the inside that it looks nice and it's sort of sealed. So we'll do it one more time right quick. Okay, so first thing, color side down, fold it up, make a nice crease. So this one I did the watercolor on with a little bit of uh, the uh, collage on top so it's a little bit thinner. So my creases are staying a little bit better. Uh, they're a little bit sharper. Uh, so um, that's going to make it a little bit easier. And then again, what you're going to do is fold in your corners. Fold them in. Okay. Like so. And remember, avoid overlapping. If there's a little gap, it's okay. Uh, it's better than overlapping because if it overlaps, you're going to have a difficult time assembling your box. All right. So now we have it all folded in, and then we're going to meet the middle. So come in here, meet the middle, turn it here, meet the middle. So now you have uh, these two folds here. And again, really take the time to crease them, making sure that it's a nice even fold. Okay. Uh, and then once you're done, you're going to open that up, and you're going to then do the same thing for this side. So bring it up, meet the middle. Do the same thing over here, meet the middle, reinforce your creases so that they're nice and sharp, okay? And then you're going to open it up 
and pull the two end tabs out. And then think about this little edge here and just sort of push that edge in and it's gonna gently fold. And then you're gonna take this tab and push it down, okay? And then do the same thing for this one. Push in at these edges here. And if you visualize the edge of the square, it makes it a little bit easier to find that fold. So come in there, push it in, and then uh, if it's a little fussy, just give it a little nudge, and then just go ahead and push it down inside, and then you will have your edge. And if it's a little off, you know, just give it a little tug when you're done. Uh, and now I have my bottom. And again, what I'll do is I'll use a little Mod Podge and tissue to uh, clean up that bottom a little bit. And now you can see I have the top and the bottom of my box. So that is basically what you're going to do. And then you can decide what kind of ornament or decoration you want to put onto the top of it. So that is that.